People of Golf Clash, we do have a new ball in the shop, the Lion Ball. I, I mean, I like the way that it looks. I think the design is cool. You know, I like the, the lion head. I like the gold, the green colors. You know, I, I think that's a, a, a good looking ball. You know, the stats, on the other hand, I mean, give me a break. So this is essentially a Titan with four side spins and five top spin boosts, right? Who needs this ball? If you play rookie and you need some top spin boost, this is a ball for you. If you play pro and you need some top spin boost, this ball is for you. In my opinion, the win two pretty much takes it out of master entirely and pretty much takes it out of expert um, entirely. Unless maybe you're going to use this for the rare, 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 rare send it shot where you need a, a win two ball um, as opposed to like a big topper ball or you know something like that or a spirit you, you know what i'm saying so I, I don't see how often a ball like this is going to be used if ever um besides uh, tour play so let me just go here now to the other top spin boost balls here top spin power three so we got that lion ball then we have the spirit type ball i mean hell if you have international ball right there you're good to go that's a win three side spin three top spin boost five yeah i mean we have 77 of these right here i wouldn't get one of these new ones right there so if you have any of those you'd be fine if you have any of the digital balls i wouldn't worry about it if you have any of these balls right here i wouldn't worry about it if you have any of the smash mouth balls i wouldn't worry about it if you had any of the face-off balls, I wouldn't worry about it. If you had any of the spirit balls, I wouldn't worry about it. So, I know it's hard for you guys to pass up on a top spin boost ball, but the win two is going to make this a ball where it's going to be sitting in your stock for a long-ass time. Like, a lot of these balls, a lot of these top spin boost balls that first came out back in the day, like, um, for instance, like this champagne ball, it's been sitting there since I bought it. You know, this uh, we bought 230 of these Season 30 balls, and we used two. You know what I mean? So a lot of the times, these, to these top spin boost balls, look at this compass ball, for instance. Power three, top spin boost two, side spin three, win two. We, pro we probably haven't used one, right? So this is a ball that if you buy it, you may use it once or twice a tournament per year other than that you know you, you're probably getting this for the gems or for the 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 club cards you know what i mean i really can't think of a, a situation where you're going to need this ball if you haven't already purchased some of the older top spin boost balls or if you don't already have one of the ones that i've already mentioned especially the international ball there especially I mean, the, the, the side spin four, sure, that's nice. The power three, that's nice. The top spin boost five is nice. But this wind resistance, that's absolute garbage. You know, and of course they're going to give this ball a plus three needle. So, I mean, is it a bad ball? No. Is it a great ball? No. And that's my two cents. Curious to hear what's yours. Is it for you? Let me know. So the ball is round. It is nice and easy to center. I mean, this is a this is a, a good ball as far as the roundness goes and the centering. Great shot. That is a fucking great and rookie man. God damn. Yep. Yeah. Ball sucks. <laughs>